gonna make some ice cream tonight and thought I may as well do a video and show you guys. So, I think I've, I've shown pictures before, but not the actual video. So I've already started. And now for basic vanilla, what I like to use is just a can of sweetened condensed milk. And any honestly, any ice cream recipe I've come across that calls for milk and sugar, I substitute with sweetened condensed milk because I found that when it freezes, it's a creamier consistency. It's not like an ice milk consistency where the rest of them are. So I've already put most of that in, or actually all of it in here. And these are um, silicone bowls. They can, they're squishy, so they're easy to pour. And they can, uh, they can go in the oven, microwave, dishwasher, they're pretty cool. So one can of sweet condensed milk, two cups of heavy whipping cream. It's got kind of thick out there. And halfway through this, if you want to add some Oreos, some chocolate chips, whatever your favorite toppings are, usually takes about 30 minutes to whip up a batch of ice cream. And uh, so in 15 minutes, you can add whatever you want. Sorry, I didn't have my vanilla ready. Okay, and then I put about two teaspoons of vanilla. That looks like one, and that looks like two. <laughs> Okay, so you just mix all that up. Now, in the meantime, you keep your um, the base of the ice cream maker in the freezer because it needs to be cold, cold before you start. And a lot of times, I will chill my mixture first before I pour in the ice cream maker. But today, I'm not because I'm doing a video. And this way, I have to wait. So it might take a little bit longer than 30 minutes. It's not bad. Okay, so that's all mixed up. So there is the base for your ice cream. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. So the ice cream maker itself comes with this little orange lid and I just want to keep it in the freezer. I just always keep it on there. And then here is your attachment. And I just keep this attached all the time. But to clean it, you just take that off. This part comes off, you squeeze the bottom, and this comes off. <laughs> Gotta be smarter. So it all, all comes apart to clean up easily. All right. And then it has these little grooves. You just lock it into place. Plug her in. And then the power already comes on, so you set the timer. I take that back, I have to put on the power. Uh, set the timer for however long. And I'm just setting it for 30 minutes. The paddle will start and then you can pour in your mixture once the paddle starts. And that's why I love the silicone bowl because it makes it so easy to pour anything. Pancake batter, which we have our new pancake shaker blender for that too. Um, brownie mix, cake batter, I mean anything, it just makes it so much easier. All right, so then that will be ready in 30 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to make a lava cake in the microwave in my Rock Crock Everyday Pan. Sorry, I literally just decided to do this, so that's why I have nothing in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. This is the Rock Crock Everyday Pan. It's a smaller, smaller one. I think 2.5 quarts, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't use it as often as the, the larger one, and I keep it on the counter in my um, slow cooker stand because I use that for, like, soups and bigger meals and stuff. But I use this a lot for vegetables, potatoes, and to make cake. So... The lava cake's super simple. You just take a package. I know I've shown this video before too. But I thought, why not go ahead and do it again for those of those new people that may have just joined my website. Or my, my page, I mean. 
So you just take one package of cake mix. One can of diet soda. Okay, so normally for chocolate, I'd probably use Diet Coke, but I have Diet Black Cherry, so that's what we're going with. So, you just pour that in. Can y'all see this? Mix it up. And now this itself will just make really good cake, but if you want to make it a lava cake where it's got like a frosty or a fudgy center, then you're going to add some frosting to it. Okay, so you just mix that up just like that. Nothing major. Just make sure all the dry parts are mixed. Then, just take a can of frosting. You can use your own homemade, but Sam's Club have Sam's Club. Sorry, had a good deal on these. And then I like to use my small scoop. Not you? That's not you. Is this you? Yep. Small scoop. This thing's awesome just kind of do some little dollops. Now I don't like a whole lot, personally. So I'm just gonna do a few just around, and then one in the middle. Okay, so that's it. So you've got your cake mix, you got your frosting just dolloped on there, you don't mix it in. Put the lid on it, microwave it, 10 minutes, not 15 minutes, sorry. 10 minutes and it's ready to go. So, when this is done and ice cream is ice cream is done, we'll have a great dessert. Thanks guys. Bye.